Hi, and welcome to a lesson today on distance time graphs. Now, today we're going to learn how to draw and interpret distance time graphs with the, with the help of one of my favorite TV shows and the characters in it, The Simpsons. Um, distance time graphs are a convenient way to show the motion of an object or a person, um, their distance traveled, that is, against the time taken. And they very much tell a story. So the first story we're going to have a look at is a story about Homer. This story I've broken up into four parts. You can see the axes at the bottom. The distance traveled is in, on the Y axis and that's measured in meters. And the time taken is in minutes on the X axis. Now, part one of this story says that the bell goes and Homer stops work and runs 250 meters to his car, taking him five minutes. Notice in this first part that we've got both a distance given and a time taken. So we just have to go and plot whereabouts that takes us to on the graph. So let's have a look. We're starting at zero minutes, okay, uh, from the start of the journey and 250 meters. So um, what is it? Five minutes, 250 meters, we're going to end up there, okay? Part two, Homer drives for 10 minutes, but only gets 2000 meters before he needs to stop for a donut very much like Homer. So Homer drives 10 minutes, so 10 more minutes takes us to 15 minutes, okay, and he's driven another 2,000 meters. So we were at 250 meters away from where we started, and now we're 2,250 meters away from where we started. So the graph's going to take us up there, okay? So it's like a cumulative effect. Part three, he sits in his parked car and spends five minutes eating the donut. Is he going anywhere? No, he's not. So his distance travel is not going to change, but he is spending five minutes eating this donut. We're currently at 15 minutes in, five more minutes is going to take us to 20 minutes. And you'll see what happens to the graph there. If he's not moving, the graph goes flat. Finally, he starts the engine and drives for five minutes, 1000 meters back home. Okay, so currently, what did we say? We're at 2250 meters away. Another 1,000 meters is going to be 3,250, and we're going to be five minutes later than 20 minutes in. So 25 minutes, 3,250, that's the end of the story. Okay, all right, so hopefully that's nice and straightforward. Um, so it's all about his distance away from where he started from increasing along the way, all right? Bart. Bart sprints 100 meters through school, which takes a minute. Now we've got a different scale going on here. So with one minute in, okay, there we are, and um, what's 100 meters, it's there. So it's a very small part of this graph to start with, part one. Part two, he then jumps on his skateboard and takes four minutes to dodge his way 500 meters through a crowd of people, right? So four more minutes is five minutes, and 500 meters more than 100 is 600. So we should be heading up to there next. We are, okay, part three, Bart jumps off at Apu's and looks around for 10 minutes. He jumps off, he's not going anywhere. He's looking around for 10 minutes. It's very much like when Homer was eating his donut. So we're currently at five minutes in, we're gonna be now at 15 minutes. Yeah, okay, across we go. And finally, he jumps back on his skateboard and travels 750 meters back in a record time of four minutes. So four minutes after 15 minutes is 19 minutes going to be there and another 750 meters is going to be 1350 so we should be up here okay let's have a look and the graph hasn't quite reached my arrow unfortunately sorry about that but the graph should be getting to where my arrow point is okay all right so that was Bart so we've done Homer and Bart now Marge part one Marge sets off carefully from her shopping trip driving 1500 meters in 10 minutes Okay, so again, we've got another scale going on here. Um, 1500 meters is here in 10 minutes. So that's nice and easy. Uh, no, well, we're gonna be there, aren't we? Okay, so that's the first part. She then realizes she might be late. So she speeds up, covering the next thousand meters in two and a half minutes before reaching the traffic light. So two and a half minutes later is going to be 12 and a half minutes. Okay, we're gonna be up to there and another thousand meters is gonna take us up there, okay? Now notice this wording, she's sped up, she's sped up, and look what's happened to the graph, okay? The graph has become, I hope you can see, it's become steeper. That's a nice indication that the speed has risen, okay? She's covering more distance in a smaller amount of time. We'll get onto that in the next lesson. 
Part three, she waits at the lights for five minutes. So we're now at 12 and a half minutes. Another five minutes is gonna take us to 17 and a half. And she's waiting at the lights. So she's not going anywhere. Okay, so we should expect to see the graph go horizontal. And finally, she drives 500 meters home, taking five minutes. So another five minutes after 17 and a half minutes is 22 and a half minutes. And she's driving 500 meters home which takes us to 3,000 meters away from where she started from. She's there. Oh, what's happened here? Uh, is that right? No, if we've got another mistake here. She drives 500 meters home, taking five minutes. I think it should be where my arrow is actually. So sorry about that again. It's not perfect. Uh, she drives 500 meters home, taking five minutes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so again, it should actually be where my arrow is. Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure you can do better than that on our next example. So draw yourself these axes. Okay, this is your mini task. Okay, so we need um, a y axis again, always the distance from where we're starting from on the y axis. Time taken always goes on the x axis. Okay, and I want you to exactly copy out, please, those um, axes with that particular scale. Okay, I'll give you some time. If you need to pause the video, please do so, so you can draw those accurately and then I'll be giving you your instructions on Maggie. Okay, here are the instructions. Um, so again, you've got the axes in front of you, I hope, and you can have a go at this by pausing the video again and having a go at drawing that distance time graph. Okay, we're ready to go through the answers. So I hope that you had a really good go at that. Question one, part one of this story. Um, Maggie crawls out the house and crawls 500 meters away from the house taking 20 minutes. Okay, so I hope you're able to um, represent that on your distance time graph effectively. Yep, so let's check this, no mistakes. There's 20 minutes taken and 500 meters away from the house. There we go. Okay, the next thing she does is she sneaks into a lady's handbag for five minutes and travels 500 meters further away from the house. Okay, so um, she's still traveling. Okay, 500 meters further than 500 meters is going to be 1,000 um, for five minutes. So that's gonna be quite quick, isn't it? Yeah, okay, 25 minutes in, 1,000 meters away from where she started from. Part three, when she gets out, her homing instinct makes her crawl 200 meters back towards her house, taking five minutes. Now notice the wording here, this is quite important, on the y-axis, distance from home, distance from the house. She's going 200 meters back towards her house. She's currently a thousand meters away. She's going to therefore be 800 meters away, taking her five minutes more. So I'm expecting to see the graph do that, to go to where my arrow is. Okay, and then part four, Maggie's tired, so she stops and sucks her dummy for 10 minutes. We're currently 30 minutes into the, into the story. Another 10 minutes is gonna take us there, and she's not going anywhere. It's gone horizontal. Part five, she then starts crawling back, covering 200 meters in 10 minutes. Okay, so let's have a look. 200 meters, she's currently 800 meters away. 200 meters in 10 minutes. Um, is going to go to there and she continues at this speed until she arrives back home. Now remember what I said on the last one with, with, uh, with Marge, we looked at how the steepness of the graph is quite important in terms of the rate of change of the distance with relation to time. You might make the link there with speed. Okay, she continues at this speed then until she arrives back home. So I hope you had your wits about you and were able to see that we can then extend that same gradient, that same part of that last part of the graph to take us back home, okay? So she's arriving home 80 minutes after she started. Okay, I hope that's been nice and, and clear about how to draw and interpret a distance time graph. And I hope you're now ready to, to tackle some more questions. Good luck.